Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dynamic Continuum. Uh, been out and about here today, out in the field. Super nice weather out here. Um, now getting basically the first of June. And out looking at the demo farm. So I've got a really intense project going on, on my own farm with Midwestern Bioag. And we're looking at a systems approach to fertility in the field and looking at the biological processes that we can encourage along the way. So um, out there checking on that today and things for the most part have looked good throughout the year. Now there's starting to be some nutrient differences showing up, um, but for the most part it's all due to nutrient placement. So I wanted to talk about that here a little bit today. I've been talking, we talk about the four R's all the time. Um, so for those of you that don't know about the four R's, essentially the four R's is right place. It, it deals with nutrient, nutrients in the soil. Right place, right time, right products, and right rate. So you wanna make sure that you have the right amount with the correct product that you want that's gonna work for your environment at the right place and available at the correct time. So right now our corn is pretty small. It's not necessarily using a lot of nutrients, but the nutrients that it is using is super critical. So that's why we're really interested in making sure that those nutrients are available in the right place. And so at this farm, we did some strip till. So we did strip till nutrients, um, nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and other micronutrients versus like our anhydrous strip tilled. And where we had the, um, where the corn was planted perfectly onto the strip, we have great stand, excellent emergence, um, things look really uniform, and that corn looks nice, dark green, big, and, and looks super healthy. But wherever we got off, even a little bit, anytime we were over four inches off of the strip, that corn is delayed and stunted back. So the key there is making sure that your GPS is super tuned in, that your planter is souped up and um, locked and loaded, ready to go. Luckily, we have a really nice planter that we, put, that we utilized and uh, good trash rippers and the Delta downforce and the whole everything. And uh, so that corn is still gonna be okay and we're gonna come through all right, but we'll see what happens there basically with just not being perfectly on the strip. We're looking at some of those other issues too, or we're seeing the same kind of issue, I guess, with nutrient placement and other farms as well. So there's plenty of corn in the area that there's some yellowing going to it, there's some streaking going to it. Um, and there's a lot of patterns out in the field too. You can see right where the manure was stripped on or where the anhydrous was stripped on to the field and uh, those strips are dark green and that corn looks awesome and then right next to it it's more yellowish and the corn looks delayed and doesn't look like it has the nutrients um, it should pop out of that but we want to make sure that our corn doesn't have a bad day so in the future we got to make sure that we are aligning all the four r's correctly that we've got the nutrients where we need them when we need them in the right forms that encourage biological interaction with the nutrient with the uh, plants because it's really the biology that's interacting with the nutrients and the biology that's interacting with the plants to make those processes work so we got to make all make sure all that aligns and making sure that the nutrients are there in the most optimal place at the optimal time is critical um, another project that we were looking at here today is up at the johnson county poor farm Super cool historic farm up just outside of Iowa City. We're pulling soil samples twice a month out there all year round and a really intense project, which has been really cool. So they were, we're out there checking out um, the vegetables, but they we've got corn out there this year as well. Corn planted into first year cover crop versus no, um, just a no-till situation. And then looking at um, some vegetable production as well, organic vegetable production where it's super heavily tilled um, but it's not getting the synthetic fertilizer, the synthetic pesticides that the row crop operation is getting. And we've been pulling a lot of soil samples on all that. Really cool today to have some kids out there. They were learning about planting. They were learning about um, vegetable production and whatnot. So we were flying the drone. We were, we were flying the drone. They were doing field work. They were showing kids around. It was a pretty cool deal um, up there, and they always have a lot going on. So um, you can definitely check out the Poor Farm. It's a really cool project. And uh, we've, we've done a lot of work on it. So we've got a lot of 
footage on that from our social media sites as well. So um, check those out. But basically, you know, be mindful of the four R's and stuff. Um, be mindful to make sure that we're utilizing nutrients efficiently, keeping them out of the water system, making sure that we are economically efficient as farmers and taking care of the world around us as best as we can. Thanks.